What up Talkies, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com and here we are going to do another Chinese poker video. I did one a few days ago where we played four-handed and now I'm going to play two-handed. I realized that the four-handed game was maybe a little bit too complicated for beginner players. So let's try this again with one-on-one, -on -one, heads up, Chinese poker. It's a great game. I love this game. I've been playing it for over 30 years now. Let's just go ahead and get started. I have... 13 billion dollars 13.5 billion dollars and we are going to play for a million dollars a point just to keep the math really simple here we go last time i played i was only up to like 3.4 3.2 billion and since then in about a week and a half i drove that up to 13.5 billion dollars we're only playing heads up here so we only have to worry about one opponent Let's go ahead and get started. Chinese poker is like a 13 card version of Pai Gao. So instead of getting seven cards in Pai Gao, you get 13 cards. Instead of making two poker hands, you make three poker hands, a five card hand in the back, a five card hand in the middle, and a three card hand up front. In the three card hand, straights and flushes don't count. There are some bonus hands, there are some automatic hands, but let's just jump into this. We have a straight to king and we have three pair. We do actually do have a straight to ace, nine through ace, but since that breaks up one of our precious three pairs, we're gonna keep that. We do have a flush in clubs, but that breaks up too much of the hand. It breaks up two pair, so we don't wanna to touch that. So we are just gonna play the straight to king with twos and sixes, aces up front. For the top and middle hands, when you have three or four pairs, you usually want to float your highest pair to the front and try to get your highest kicker up there. But we're going to play just like this. This looks great up front. We're probably going to win up front. And the other two hands are kind of a crapshoot. It all depends on, obviously, how the other player is doing. But we beat them in the top and the middle, and they beat us in the back. They have a flush in the back. Our two pair beat their one pair in the middle, so we won one point. You get one point for every hand you win, and if you scoop, which is winning all three hands, then you double the points. So you would win three points because you won all three hands, and then you double that. That becomes a win of six points, so let's go. We started with 3.5 billion, so we're up one million so far. So here we have a, a flush in hearts. We also have a straight that is broken up by that flush. If we just go straight pairs, what do we have? We have we have three pairs, so this is a bit of a tricky one. In this game, the scoring is such that the difference between winning two hands and losing two hands, the delta between those two scenarios is only two points because you go from winning a point when you win two hands to losing one point when you lose two hands. But if you scoop or get scooped, when you scoop, you win six points. When you get scooped, you lose six points. So the delta between winning and scooping is actually five points. And the delta between losing two hands and getting scooped is also five points. So if you think you have a losing hand, you wanna avoid getting scooped at all costs. If you think you have a winning hand, you wanna go for the jugular and you wanna to try to scoop because you want to get that delta. That's when you start to really make money in this game, in this version of the game. So here, I think we have a losing hand. We don't have, really have a breakout hand that is guaranteed or, or very likely to win. So I think I'm just gonna break up my three pairs and try to avoid the scoop. Play, uh, play the eights in the middle and sevens up front. So hopefully the sevens prevent us from getting scooped. Let's see what happens. Oh, so he notched me. I have 7-7 seven, seven jack, he has 7-7 seven, seven king, so he just barely beat me with the kicker. They won all three hands and they scooped me. I lost six million dollars. So here we have a straight to jack that breaks up two pair. We have also a pair of kings. We don't have any flushes, but I think we're gonna play that straight. It's not great, but it, at least we can still play an ace up front. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Kings in the middle and your highest kickers up front. Your highest unused kickers up front. You always wanna play your highest kickers up front as much as possible. Here, our kicker saved us. We didn't get scooped and we actually won the hand. So 
So here we have four pair and a straight, which breaks up all four pair. We have a flush and unfortunately it breaks up that straight. So don't know that we are gonna play that straight. I think we have to play our lowest two pairs in back, highest pair in the middle, and then second highest up front. Those queens are gonna help prevent us from getting scooped. Hopefully, let's see what happens. So we get notched in the middle, we do win the front and we're gonna lose one point and that's a good result for that hand. It was not a great hand. In this app, they award you with these bonuses. Here we're getting paid three times what we win and we actually have a special hand, which was three straights, which is four points. We would normally have won $4 million, but the app just likes to give you little bonuses to motivate you to play more. So they tripled that win from a $4 million win to a $12 million win. So let's keep going. So here we have a straight to Jack, which breaks up one pair, which is good. Like if you can only break up one pair and make a straight or a flush, you usually want to play that straight or a flush. So here we go. Seven to Jack and we have two good pairs. We're going to play the highest pair in the middle, second highest up front. And I don't believe I've mentioned this before, but in this game, just like in Paigao, your backhand has to be better than your middle hand, which has to be better than your three card hand, the front hand, just the same way that your backhand in Paigao has to beat your two card hand. So you can't just decide, oh, I'm gonna play my aces up front in this case, because it has to beat whatever's in the middle. So here we go. Kings should be dominant. Yeah, we actually scoop. This is a six point win. And like I said, I love this game. I've been playing it for years and I've probably played this game more than I've played any other type of gambling game out there. So it's great for home poker games. As people are arriving, you can play this game when you don't have enough people for an actual poker game. Uh, after people leave, as the game is breaking up, if you only have three or four people left and they wanna hang out and stay, this is the perfect game for that. Here we have a straight to queen that only breaks up that one pair. It's actually a eight to king straight, but we don't want to break up that pair of kings. Breaking up that pair of queens, we are still left with three pairs, and we have three pairs left with your front two hands. You want to play your highest pair up front with your highest kicker and the two lowest pairs in the middle. So let's do that. And we're gonna beat in the front, we're gonna lose in the middle and back. So that's a minus one. So most of the time you're gonna tread water, either winning one point or losing one point when you're playing heads up with one other person. But like I said, this game is made or lost by scoops. You know, obviously the bonus hands are a big factor. And so you get points for having certain hands in certain positions. So these are the bonus hands right here. So if you have three of a kind up front and that hand wins, you get one point for winning and you get an extra two points for a total of three points for that hand. If you have a full house in the middle and that hand wins, you win one point for winning and another bonus point for a total of two points for that full house. If you have four of a kind in the back and that hand wins, you get one point for winning and you get another three points for the bonus. If you have a straight flush in back, you get one point plus four for winning, total of five points. If you have in this app, you have a royal flush in the back, you get one point for winning and plus another nine points for a total of 10 points for that hand. And there's a couple other examples here. They also have special 13 card hands, such as no picture cards, six pair, three flushes, three straights. In this case, the straights and flushes do count in that three card hand, but only in this automatic winning hand scenario. Uh, dragon straight, I think it's just a 13 card straight ace to king. Grand dragon is a 13 card straight ace to king of a single suit. You can have 12 or 13 cards of one color, either red or black, and that's gonna win as well. I do wish that this app had a four color deck, but then I suppose there would be a problem with that special hand. But in any case, let's continue. Here we have trips and three pairs. We're probably gonna play a full house, 
put the highest pair in the middle and the second highest pair in front. So I think that's what we're doing. We have a flush of diamonds, but it breaks up too much. Breaks up pretty much everything. So we're not going to play that. I think the tens are high enough where you float it to the top and just hope that you win. Even if we had put them together and played ace queen, it wouldn't have made a difference. One thing I don't like about this app is that I don't think they play the pairs correctly for the middle and front hands. So I think that's probably responsible for most of my win. You know, I, I, I've won over $10 billion in this app in the last week and a half or so. So if you find yourself winning tons of money in this app, it's, it's because of the bonuses that they give out. It's because of the awards that they give out. And it's because they misplay hands pretty poorly. So don't get overconfident in yourself and start playing with people in casinos or people you don't know. Don't get too overconfident. So here we got a full house and we still have three pairs left over. So whenever that's the situation, you pretty much play that. Highest pair up front, highest kicker, and the lower two pairs and the lower kicker in the middle. We're going to scoop here. One thing you don't get when you play heads up as opposed to against three other people is that you don't have the opportunity to hit home runs. A home run is when you scoop all three opponents and whatever points you won are all doubled. And that is the opportunity to really put the nails in the coffin and just have a runaway win in this app, which is actually quite fun. So here we have a full house pair and a straight. You know, we also have a full house and a flush, but I don't think I want to play the flush because we need that pair. We're going to play that those sixes up front. So we're going to have fives full of fours and straight to ace and then pair sixes up front. That's a pretty good hand. Good chance of scooping, which is what we do. The sixes were kind of iffy and the fives full were pretty easy to beat. But we did scoop. And I'm just going to play one more hand. So here we have no flushes. We have a straight. We're probably going to play the straight 10 to ace. And then we have two pairs left over and we'll chop them. Nines in the middle, threes up front. Let's check again. No flushes. But we have a straight that breaks up one pair. And so we take the rest and scatter it like that. So we protect ourselves from getting scooped in the back. We barely saved ourselves with that straight. And that's it. Uh, we are up, we are up 24 million points. I think about 8 million of that was given through that triple bonus that we got earlier in the game. So we are up 16 points. So pretty good result. But I hope you understand and enjoy this game. If you have questions about this game, please let me know. I do consider myself an expert on this game. If there's a Chinese poker app that you prefer over this one, please let me know what it is and why you like it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. Always gamble responsibly and peace out, donkeys. Mm -hmm.